Well, hello everyone. This is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, super simple little blob. Uh, I call it the watermelon. Uh, just it's a, just a slightly different colors. Uh, it's not uh, so bright um, that some of the uh, blobs out there are. Um, I find that this one works uh, a little bit better on those slightly overcast days uh, or days where the fish are being picky, scared, skittish of those really bright colors. Um, so uh, yeah, here we go. So um, in the vise, we will have a Hens BL uh, 5.99 in a size 10. Um, any kind of these these blobby shrimpy type uh, hooks will do. Um, for the back portion of the fly, it's going to be two different uh, uh, gel core fritzes that I'm going to be using. For the back one, I'm going to be using the coral, and for the front one, I'm going to be using the biscuit. Okay, and that's it. And for the thread, Semperfly Classic waxed into floral red. And the reason I like this one is because it uh, the head portion of it, it uh, gives that really nice hot spot head on it. But it's not, like I said, a lot of these blob flies, uh, I've got a ton of them myself, um, this, um, blobs and boobies, they, they go really bright with their colors. And sometimes the fish just don't like that. So this one's a, just a, a little more subdued, not a lot, but a little more subdued. So just gonna tie my thread into the back. I stripped away the, the material to just expose that core. Um, I, I waxed my thread before I started the video. So I'm gonna come back roughly to where the barb would be. I'm just gonna make sure that's tied down nice. Just come forward and every time I stroke back, I want this material laying back and I want to, the last first next wrap tight against that last wrap tight I want a really tight compact little body here so stroke all that back stroke all that back I'll do at least one I'll do one more right tight one more okay come back over top of it stroke everything back five six times in front just to make sure that's locked in right tight nip that off repeat with the uh, biscuit color and just tie that in by the center core there all the way back right tight up against that coral and come forward repeat same thing right tight though especially you got to really make sure that first one's tight otherwise you'll end up with a bit of a separation and you don't want that i'm just untwisting my fritz and yet nice and tight up against you see how that's you can almost not tell oops i just bumped my camera i don't think i've done that in a long time um let me get that focused for you yeah, just nice and tight up against. And stroke that material back. I should be able to get at least one more here. Probably that's it. Yeah, one. That's it. So stroke. Tie that off. Tie it off. Nip this off. And then you know, build up a little head while pushing back all this material. So you want to just get everything back. Don't worry if you get a little bit of uh, stuff right there in the eye. I can just take a lighter to that after. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of Sally's and put it right on the thread here. Again, just because I don't want it in the, in the uh, fritz. Right, so... Again, stroke everything back. Three, four turn whip finish. Oh, I didn't even have to cut that. There we go. Pulled. So used to nano silk. I don't, uh, I use so much nano silk nowadays that, uh, yeah. So I just got to stroke everything back, just cover it and just give it a quick with the, uh, the lighter, just in case there's any, any there that you don't want. And then I like brushing this out forward just to make sure there's nothing trapped. And then I'll brush it all backwards again. And I'll grab the rougher brush and 
there's your little watermelon blob. There's another one here that I made. Um, so you can do this in a blob. You can put a bead head on that if you'd like. You can put a fab, like a, a foam piece in the butt and make it a fab. Um, I actually, between this color and uh, the, between the two colors, I'll put a couple of um, a squid row um, um, rubber legs, but just a little short little ones, like three or four of them just sticking out, but maybe maybe a half an inch past. And that way it's got some more little, little movement in there. Um, I'll do uh, I'll do so I do I do some of my blobs like that so I'll probably do a different one with with that configuration with those uh, little squid roll legs uh, but yeah that's the uh, watermelon blob like I said super easy um, it uh, fishes really well and uh, um, it's especially you know, like I said in those times where the fish are just being a little picky and they don't just don't want that bright those bright colors like um, these are uh, both from Flybox these ones here that I'm that I'm using um, Flybox has a uh, I can't don't know where I put the rest of them, but they've got a, a, a huge selection of uh, of these Fritzes. Uh, so does Zemperfly. So does Hands. And many of them do. And uh, Semperfly's got some really nice long chenilles. Um, they've got some really nice blob chenilles as well. Um, this has got a little bit more movement. This one, and then the Hens one has got a little bit more UV. So it depends what you're wanting. Um, what kind of effect you want for which material you're going to use. So I use them all. I use, I have fly box uh, blobs in my box. I have Semperfly ones. I have hens ones. I have others. So um, it just all depends on what you're looking for. So alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, like I said, really simple fly. Um, and uh, I'll fish this on a, uh, this one in particular, just like this, in a, on a deep sinking line, uh, type 3 to type 6. Um, if I put a fab on it, then I'll do that as a, uh, uh, put, uh, um, like if I put foam on the ass end, arse end, sorry, um, I'll do it as a, uh, uh, as a fab and then I'll fish this as a, on a floating line in a washing line technique. So this will help hold up the other two flies. Um, yeah, so, uh, now that's in, in Alberta and, and Manitoba, Saskatchewan and stuff like that. I know in BC you can't, but, uh, yeah, so this one is, uh, is, is a really handy one to have, so. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed that. Tie lines.